Hi, everybody. It's uh, Mayor Sullivan, City Hall, Friday, July 16th. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good week. Uh, the rain subsided today. It's a nice day, although unfortunately the weekend looks like it could be a little more rainy. So if you have a chance, get outside today and enjoy the nice weather. Uh, we were just outside here at City Hall. Farmer's Market opened up today. Today's day one of the Farmer's Market. Uh, it was just, it's an awesome ability to walk around, um, social distance, but you can buy some great produce. I bought squash. I, I bought, what else did I buy? Blueberries, probably the biggest blueberries ever. So uh, if you can get out there, please do. I bought some books. The uh, Brockton Library is having their book sale out there as well. So again, it's going to be uh, every single Friday until October 29th. The hours are 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And again, next Friday, I'll see you out there, okay? So let me just talk about COVID. Uh, we are right now 54.5% uh, vaccination. Uh, you also have to remember that uh, there's a substantial amount of Brockton residents based on age that do not qualify for the vaccine. So we're doing well. We're going to continue the efforts. Uh, right now, our daily inc uh, incident rate is at an all-time low, so things are good. But again, we're a little cautious, uh, optimistic about what's going on right now, but cautious about the variant and the Delta. So uh, please know that um, you know we are still doing our vaccine clinics. Every Thursday at the Shaw Center till 7 p.m. is the Neighborhood Health Center in conjunction with the National Guard, and we're very thankful for our collaboration with that. Uh, every Thursday, Board of Health, our local Board of Health is doing it at the Cape Verdean Association. It's excellent. It's been excellent for, uh, for months now. And then also every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. up at the Shaw Center. And it's, a, again, a collaboration between our local Board of Health and also some of our Brockton Public School nurses. So it's really a win-win. So if you're interested uh, in the shot, we have ample opportunities. We're also still doing our pop-ups. Uh, around the city. Market Basket is going to be this weekend up at the Westgate Mall. We're going to continue to do that. So again, we have a new update on the city website, which is brockton.ma.us. Again, it's a vaccine clinic calendar. And I want to thank uh, my team members, uh, Davison Perez and Jensen Denoyes, for, for working on that. Uh, again, Eno Monis here from the Board of Health and Dr. Rick Herman. So it's all hands on deck. Um, so just let me not, let you know a, a couple other things. We're doing a, uh, and I want to thank um, Brockton Public Library, we're doing a uh, donation opportunity. You can drop off here in the mayor's office, 45 School Street here at City Hall, or also the main uh, library, which is 304 Main Street. Um, any gently used professional clothing, shoes, ties, dresses, anything that um, folks in the city of Brockton that are in need could utilize uh, professionally for maybe job interviews or going to school, whatever it is. Uh, we are working diligently right now. Um, Myra over at the library is, is running point on that. We want to thank you, Myra, for everything you're doing. So again, if you have any interest, you have any clothes you haven't used, uh, you know, and you want to donate it, we uh, are ready, willing, and able to take that. So it really is an honor and privilege to serve as the mayor of Brockton. As a guy that loves baseball, I want to applaud the Brockton Rocks. They're in Westfield. Uh, they're away this weekend, Westfield, Massachusetts, and also down in Connecticut. So uh, we, uh, we hope that they continue, right, City of Champions. Uh, and again, be well, enjoy the weekend, and I'll be back again next week. Thanks, all. Bye-bye.